What's good peeps? Welcome to the channel and a big thank you for clicking on this video. Today we'll get to know the origin of Ezekiel Sims, a character rumored to be in the upcoming Madam Web movie. So let's get right into it and find out who is Ezekiel Sims. Years ago, when Ezekiel was much younger, he saved a sacred temple from being demolished by the government for his own selfish reasons. He then forced the keeper of the temple to perform an ancient ritual that would give him the powers of the spider totem. The ritual was performed and Ezekiel received the powers he desired. But the keeper informed him that he was not the chosen one and when the mystical forces discovered that he had the powers, there would be a price to pay. Ezekiel then used his powers to make himself quite rich. With his money, he helped to found Web Corps. The company served as a front for the spider society which he had joined. One day, Ezekiel exposed his presence to Spider-Man, who was shocked when a stranger with similar powers showed up out of nowhere, knowing his secret identity of Peter Parker. Ezekiel dropped some deep questions on Spider-Man and then bounced. He later reappeared, explaining to Peter that he was there to help him, telling him that a being named Morlin who hunted and fed on spider totems was coming for him. He then showed Peter a room that he had had specially made for him that would shield him from Morlin being able to detect him. Peter, not fully buying it all, and not being one to cower and hide, declined the room. A short time later, just as Ezekiel had said, Morlin showed up hunting Spider-Man. Spider-Man tried to battle Morlin, but he was no match for him. Spider-Man fled, going to Ezekiel to plead for his help. Ezekiel told him that there was nothing he could do for him. So Spider-Man then went back to face Morlin to keep innocent civilians safe. Just as Morlin was about to defeat and feed on Spider-Man, Ezekiel jumped into the fight, seemingly dying at the hands of Morlin. This gave Peter time to come up with a plan to defeat Morlin, which worked. A bit of time passed, and then Peter, once again, found himself in another battle with a being that was hunting spider totems. Peter was stung and injured by the being, and Ezekiel showed up to save him and took him to a sacred temple in Ghana. There, he helped Peter set up a trap for the hunter, which he defeated. Ezekiel then warned Peter that all important things come in threes, and that he would at some point have to face a much greater danger that would come for him. The two parted ways, and Peter returned to New York. When Spider showed up in New York and began attacking, Ezekiel showed up, letting Peter know that this was the work of the third challenge he had warned him of. He told Peter the gatekeeper was coming for him. Spider-Man went to battle the gatekeeper. As they battled, the gatekeeper overwhelmed Peter and explained that he had been chosen by the spider he was bitten by and that Ezekiel had stolen his powers and was unworthy. Peter then realized he had been used by Ezekiel to fight his battles for him as the beings had really been coming for Ezekiel. And when he came to, he was in South America with Ezekiel hovering over him. The two battled and Ezekiel took Spider-Man down by injecting him with a neural toxin. He then tied Peter to a column and stabbed him so his blood flowed into a petroglyph of a spider. As Ezekiel exited the temple, leaving Peter in his place as a sacrifice, a spider creature appeared to kill Peter. In a moment of reflection and regret, Ezekiel had a change of heart and came back to sacrifice himself and let Peter live. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. What do you think about Ezekiel Sims? How do you think they'll use him in Madam Web if the rumors are true? Well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to stop by the channel and check out these videos. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. I'm out. Peace.